We got it. We got it. Now, um, so tell us a little bit about your business. I know. Yeah, um, I started my own business. I started a carpet cleaning business, man. And uh, how'd that come about? Oh my God, um, I got, I left the loss prevention and the undercover security, and you put the flashlight I, down. I I did some odd <laughs> jobs here. And I did some odd jobs here and there, and then I was like, forget that. I don't want to, I, I'd apply at Burlington Co Factory, which was down the street from where I live on 415 Corson on McHenry. And when I got there to the interview, she said, You downstairs? I was like, Yeah. She said, I'm sorry to tell you, you came in for nothing. We have no, I'm down there for like a half an hour. This woman gonna call me on the phone and say they ain't got no more funding for loss prevention. They sorry. She should have told me ahead of time. I'd have been to two interviews and they liked me. You understand me? And I told myself that was the last interview I was gonna go on. And I started my business, but my kid's mother was like, you should go get a job. You shouldn't do this. And I was scared. Like, I've been shot at all shit, risking hell of jail time, prison time. But this shit scared the shit out of me because it was something. It was a realm of life that I never visited. Nobody in my family ever visited. Nobody ever owned their own business in my family. Like, we were lucky to get, you know, a window washing job. You know what I mean? So to own your own business was stifling. It was, it was. It was scary, man, because nobody in my family had ever did that. Before. So why carpet cleaning? I thought about it for years. I'd help, you know, clean my mother's carpet. And I thought about if somebody had a dirty carpet, if I could make it turn clean and look brand new, how much money would they pay me? Okay. So I thought I could just kill it with that. So you thought, hey, I can do this, plus it'll make money. Yeah, I was a hustler, man. All you right, know? so it's time to go online and get some equipment, or what do we do? Yeah, I was on a computer every day. I'd have okay. this computer built for me. I'm on a computer every day looking for a carpet cleaning machine, home machine, whatever, anything that worked. Right. And um, I was at it for like months. And then I found this machine, went and bought it. Once again, my kid's mother got mad. Now, mind you, she got mad at me and told me I should get a job. She's worked for me three times. <laughs> three times. Okay. So you get the carpet cleaning uh, machine. Yeah. And it starts, boom, instant success. You become a millionaire. Oh, uh, no, I made $100 uh, my first year. Okay. You made $100 your first the year. The first year. Yeah, you know, um, it's a statistic. I don't know what the number is, but most businesses don't make money until their third year. So I believe you. $100 your first year. $100 I, I, my first year. And I was like, this is, maybe I should get another job. So how, This ain't working, but I kept at it, though, man, because a real hustler don't give up, man. You got to, you got to, you know. You got to crawl before you walk, and you got to be the, the um, you got to be the baggage dude before you can be the concierge at a hotel. So I kept at it. Yeah, Tupac carried crates before he became Tupac. So we get you. Um, what what are some of the type of services uh, your company offers as far as is it just carpets? or you guys do floors? Oh, we do or carpet cleaning, couches? carpet restoration. We do sofa and love seats, seats which is upholstery, any upholstery. Uh, just got some material on it. Um, we do tile and grout. We do pressure washing. Do hardwood flooring. We, we do it all. If it's got to do with flooring or your home or something like that, we doing it. Okay. We do drapes. We do all type of stuff. Okay. Drapes. Yeah, we do mattresses. Drapes? Sometimes people pee on the mattresses. Can't yeah. get the pee little yeah. thing out. But if it's recent and it's there, then we have the solution to get that out. Okay. Even if it's old, we got a solution that'll get it out. The actual stain and the urine smell and all of it. Okay, so do you see any uh, similarities or maybe even differences in uh, being as far as in the music game as to owning a business? Are there any similarities or do you take anything from one and apply it to the other? Uh, yeah. Um... <coughs> this is very thorough. This, I mean, this is really this is very important. So please, people, if you pay attention to this, pay attention to this part. The similarities in music. And with me owning my own business is one thing to me. I'm selling myself. I'm not selling carpet cleaning. Anybody clean carpet. I'm selling the person that's cleaning the carpet. That's me. With music, I'm selling myself. I'm not selling some dude's song or some girl's song or what. I'm selling my music, myself, my character, all my stories, all the shit. So two uh, similarities to the two things is one thing. is me. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I definitely agree with that. And then, you know, just, that. as far as the music and the uh, owning your own business, the, you know, there's business is the most important part of both of it. You know, like you got to have employees that know how to clean carpets and stuff, but you yes. as the owner need to know how to take care of the business for that. Yes. yes so yes, that yes. can teach you a lot about the music yes. game because a lot of people don't have their paperwork right. They don't have their, their, um, yeah, LLC, your paper break you know? gotta be, yeah. 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 That's another thing. Your paperwork gotta be right. If you got employees, I mean that goes hand in hand because with the music, you gonna have some people that work for you or that Producers you work with, or, or that have or that, or that you buy their services or have they, you know, hire them for their services. Car cleaning, same thing. Uh, I go to certain companies, get my solution, only deal with them, have a rapport with just them. Yeah. Um, so, so I guess the music business and owning my own business kind of almost go hand in hand. And plus, bit. both require a heavy dosage of promo. You yeah. have to promote that business. You got to market so that business. Yeah. And you got to market your music. Yeah. And then it. you have to have customer service. Yes. Yes. And you have me. to be professional. Yes. Basically, what I'm pointing out is these two are the exact same thing. You just slang in a different product. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm slanging myself, but yeah. to me, yeah. I'm still slanging myself in yeah. both of them. Yeah, you are you the know, product. Because a lot of, I went to a lot of jobs. The reason why I say this, and I say this, you know, seriously, is because. I went to a lot of jobs where they said Koi came through, Stanley Steven came through, this other carpet outfit came through, and we they did a good job. We didn't like them because they weren't relatable. They weren't people person. They weren't funny. They were just hella dry and hella, you know, demanding and acting like they were better than anybody else. I was like, oh, wow. They said, but when you came, you're personable, you're funny, you related to us, made us laugh, cry, all the stuff, told real stories. And then not only did you do that, but you kept cleaning. And you didn't let nothing, none of your conversation or ours stop you from getting that job done and going to the next job. Right. They said, we always going to call you. So those uh, are the type of employees that you like to make sure you hire on oh, your Those are the type of customers I like to deal with and mess yeah. with at all times. Right. And 24 those, seven. And those are the type of clients, I mean, excuse me, those are the type of employees you hire so that way you can ha make sure that they provide that for your customers, right? I would like to, but being that I'm a small business proprietor, it's hard to do that because as a business, you sometimes just want a body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the less they know, the better sometimes, you know, uh, but I want them to have a, yes, definitely, I want them to have a good outlook, good attitude, but do I get that? Not, not all the time. And I'll get that at first when I hire them. Uh, they'll be all, man, all pumped up. They'll be this other person. And then when they come to the job, they'll hold, I don't even know who this person is. It looked like the dude I had the interview yeah. with, but it's not him. Once again, there's a similarity so, in the music game because let's say that you're working with a promoter or you're working with a producer or you're working with an artist and you're going to collaborate. When <clears> you <throat> get them to the studio and they get to drinking and smoking, the real them comes out. Man, that's <laughs> happened several <laughs> times. Absolutely. So, yeah. I've had people, this is the funny thing, I've had artists that are good and I had to come to the studio. I'm like, y'all, we wasn't recording, so I'm dealing with like two of them. I'm like, oh, we wasn't recording, so this motherfucker just now getting drunk. This nigga drunk already, right. and it's just not happening in the booth. And to hear a motherfucker that's talented slur their words in the booth, oh man, so I'm, you feel embarrassed for him. And then you gotta tell them they came in on song. Yeah. And see me, I'm business, just like the curse who's doing this interview, Marge. Man, I'm business, and if you don't handle business right, I'm gonna move to the next person and put them on the song. And then you, oh man, so hot. we're not supposed to be on there. Yeah, you sure was. Yeah, but you didn't take care of business. People you didn't take care of business. It's, it's a time business. to play. Yeah. And my, that's another thing my father said and my grandma said. Time and place for everything. You got to figure out what time and place it is for what you're doing. Yeah. Music business. Business. And business is a bigger word than music, so therefore it's more important. Man, who you talking about? Jack <laughs> Toe Helen. Say that again. All right. All right. So 